A video about picks or plectrums. I'm about to find out how much influence the thickness and different materials of picks can have on the sound of a guitar. In the early days, up until the 19th century, quills were used as picks. From that point, people found out that the outer shell casing of a hawksbill sea turtle was the ideal compound for tonal sound and flexibility. Nowadays, luckily for Mr. and Mrs. Hawksbill, picks are made to emulate the feel and the sound of that material. In this video, I'm using six different picks, picks I see a lot amongst my students and fellow guitar players, and I'm gonna compare them in sound and playability using three different guitar parts, a strumming part, an arpeggiated chord part, and a solo or a melody. A few notes before we start, how closer you are to the tip of the pick, the lesser effect the thickness of the pick will have on the sound. I will try to be as honest as possible and play them all with the same power and the same distance to the tip. I'm playing a Martin D42 mic in a stereo setup. Here it is, have fun! Judgment Day, nylon, 0.46 millimeters. Really fluffy and flappy, not much low end to the sound and I don't like the attack, the transient of the pick. Really flappy and thin. Playability is okay, because it can smooth out some dynamic errors you make. The Tordex 0.60, I must say, I had expected less of this pick. Around twice as thin as the picks I usually play, but almost all the sound. Nice controllable low ends and no squeaky highs. The nylon 0.73. Again, I don't really like the sound of the attack of this pick. You hear a grinding noise and sounds thinner than the 0.60 Tortex. Playability for strumming is good, it has a nice grip to it. Tortex 1.0. In comparison to the 1.14 Tortex, more mid bass sounding pick with a nice playability. A really direct touch to the strings. You definitely hear more high and low end, and not as much as the high mids with the 1.0. This is the pick I always played with, but that might just change. The Tortex 2.0. Incredible beefy. Insanely much low end to the sound, can probably sound good in power ballads or something, but not really the balanced pick I'm looking for. Feels a bit too chunky for my taste and I'm losing touch with the strings. So every pick sounded very different in the arpeggiated parts. Point 46. Strings sound flat and dull, no power and too thin. Also the playability for this style of playing is really bad. It bends too much to be controllable. The Tortex 60. Not as warm sounding as the thicker Tortexes and a bit too much squeak at the transient. Better at strumming. Again, the nylon pick bends too much and I miss some control because of the lack of stiffness. In this case, the pick gives a little bit more low end to the strings, which is good in this particular style of playing. 
The Tortex 1.0 Really balanced and rounded off sound. No squeaky attacks and nice mids accompanied by a good dosage of low end. The Tortex 1.14 Sounds thinner in the mids than the 1.0 but has a great deal of definition to it which can be good when playing faster arpeggiated parts. The 2.0 Really bassy and I feel more resistance playing the strings. You have to work harder to play the strings and I miss some of the bright upper highs. So the solo melody is a different playing field at all. The nylon is useless, almost undoable, lack of control at higher speeds and you can't make the sound fat and tight. The .60 Tordex, you need some more mass to really punch through the strings. It stays a little bit shallow and thin, playability is okay. The nylon 73, sounds okay but I miss some of the stiffness again to make even the higher strings sound fat with enough low end. And again, don't really like the transients. The Tortex 1.0, good overall playability, smooth, rounded off and well balanced sound. Tortex 1.14, edgier than the 1.0 and less mids. The puncher attack can be a pre if you're looking for more aggressive sound. The Tortex 2.0, finally, good sound for this part. Strings don't stand a chance and you hit them and you make them sound badass with no effort. It desires a little bit more accuracy because the pick ain't really forgiving. I'm genuinely impressed by the results. I knew I didn't like the nylon series that much, but now I know why. I always used to play with the 1.14 Tortex, but that might just change. For the strumming parts, I really like the 0.60 Tortex, the orange one. And for the arpeggiated chord parts, I really like the blue one, the 1.0 Tortex. Anyhow, the lesson is this. If you learn to listen good to your instrument and make a well-balanced decision, you're always better off than just using some pigs lying around the house. So I hope you liked this video, I hope it gives you some insight and I suggest you try it yourselves because pigs ain't that expensive. So it's definitely worth a try. So let me know what pigs you guys use so we can have a genuine which is better discussion in the comments and let's keep it civil guys. It's all about opinions. This was Paul Davids, I hope you liked this video. Click subscribe to follow me and hit the like button if you liked it. See you next time with another video. Goodbye, have a nice day.